Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Yue He. I'm from Tsinghua University. Now I will introduce our recent work. It's called Conspire for Causal Preference Learning for Out of Distribution Foundation, um, which is adapted by this conference. Mm, the first, um, we will give our background. <clears throat> yeah, you know, in recommendation scattery, mm, the most big challenge we face is that the user behavior is fast and only sometimes, and only sometimes the epic is feedback because we we are we, we are visible. So as a result, because of the user's fast behavior, um, is bringing some challenge on how to give better recommendation to a new user or to a new item. This is the this is a hard problem to deal in nowadays recommendation scenario. Um, yeah, however, we think that all the problem is, uh, is, is because of the database inside the user behaviors. And this native introduced a range of uh, database in user behaviors in the recommendation system because of kinds of shift. For example, uh, we can see in the, in, in the real world, there are always kinds of hygiene, such as the temporal hygiene, special hygiene, or, or provisional hygiene. Uh, for example, in different uh, places in the world, people enjoy different kinds of food. So the heterogeneity will naturally bring um, the distribution shift of user or item, which can make our recognition, uh, it, which, which makes our recognition more hard when we only need to um, compare to we only need, we only need to rec recommend it to uh, our existing user or item. Another shift is 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 called um, uh, is something brain by the recognition system itself. For example, um, recognition system prefer, uh, prefer to recommend uh, something hot uh, hot items to active users. Um, this is called popularity bias in our knowledge. So uh, this will uh, make something. Uh, this, this this is called a problem called co-star uh, that is um, some new coming items it's hard to be exposure to the user so overall we think that in recognition scannery there are kinds of database for example the uh, population bias inductive bias exposure bias uh, conformity bias and fairness and selection bias and more and moreover, there may also explain something unknown best that is hard to present by uh, our human knowledge. So how to deal with all this best together using uh, a recognition model, uh, we think is a key problem to the future development of the recognition scenery. So yeah, our problem, there are two big challenges. The first is um, sometimes we only get the implicit feedback. That means we only know what user like, but we don't available. But we don't have the data to describe how people do dislike. But what if the distribution shift happened in users dislike? But the other problem is about out of samples, and that means in traditional condition scenario we only need to deal with the users and items we have known. But usually in real applications, or especially in our auto distribution recognition problem, the new users or new items uh, must be appeared. So we need to uh, deal with them. So um, to formulate our problem, we make, uh, we, we make and propose a problem called out of distribution recognition problem. Here, we think the score of a user to the item is our goal to pre uh, predict. And we, and here we make an uh, assumption is called a, the invariant assumption. That means the score of user to an item is always invariant across different environments, which, which, uh, which guarantees uh, our generalization probability to different distribution is available. Yeah, further, 
we can um, um, make, we can turn um, this equation to an um, environment user preference. That means we hope to learn uh, environment user preference first. This preference describes how a user like some items. Yeah, then we can base on this user preference to make uh, invariance uh, prediction score, uh, which is used for the recognition system. As a result, we can uh, achieve a conclusion that if you want to uh, build a stable recognition system, the one step is you need to estimate the environment user behaviors from the observational data. Then we can utilize these environment user behaviors to design a, a, a strategy which uh, refers to a stable recognition system. To release our idea, um, we here we uh, consider to utilize the causal graph structure into recognition secondary to bring its invariant mechanism as well as its interpretability to, um, to benefit our problem. Compared to, to, compared to general causal graph, we think in, the, in, in our secondary, the coastal graph, which describes how users like the items, should meet um, these two uh, constraints. The first is because the user's behavior is generated from the user itself, so only the path from user features to item feature exists. The second is because any item is designed for the, for, for the human, so any U item feature should be not a root node. Actually, we use these two constraints to reduce the third space of the whole coastal structure, which can benefit and promote our result. Yeah, mm, then further we can mm, convert our um, new added constraint into the adjacent matrix, uh, into some magic uh, formation. For example, we um, require uh, the, we, we require the all the item feature uh, should be not the root node. Yeah. Further to uh, learn the environment user preference uh, or see our coastal graph in, in recognition secondary from the observational data. Here, we utilize uh, the method called uh, defensible coastal discovery. This method uh, can dis discover the coastal structure from the visual data uh, in an end-to-end -end framework by reconstruct the observational data. Yeah, and moreover, uh, moreover, uh, the, uh, the the theory told us that if we can uh, learn the core coastal structure from the observational data, it can bring some more generalization ability to help us. Uh, promote the mo our model's uh, generation ability. Yeah, further, we can combine our coastal structure learning uh, as well as uh, that, that is our user environment user preference learning into the recognition models. Here, we use the mm, some, something popular recognition model, for example, uh, NCF in our framework, and then we finally. Uh, jointly learn these two parts together because we think that the supervised information from the original data in recognition secondary can something uh, can, can sometimes bring more information to help us select a more uh, appreciable coastal structure. Yeah, uh, and to reduce our search place as well. So, um, final, so, so as a result, we design an end-to-end -end framework to jointly learn the environment user preference as well as the prediction score. Okay, as uh, uh, to the conclusion, we, can, we, we, we think our proposed method can have the advantage of it has the uh, stable performance to after distribution. It can deal with the out of samples and it have, can have some interpretability. Uh, in experiment, uh, we compare with uh, uh, a range of uh, 
the sort of method uh, and uh, uh, in case of uh, scanner which uh, exists the distribution shift. For example, uh, we uh, make experiments in the user features bias shift, which means that the user groups on online platform usually change over time. Yeah, and we um, and and we try our mass, uh, old method in the range shift. That means in different pieces, the heterogeneity of nature and economic conditions result in the huge distribution shift. Yeah. Um, to our goal, we hope that our method can always reach a better transitionability to all these categories. Um, yeah, from the re experimental result, we can see that um, when the inductive learning is harder, uh, our method uh, can bring more advantage in the OD recommendations category, and ours can always reach, reach the best performance with a remarkable gap for old, you know, in all the metric uh, in every case. Uh, that means that uh, our model can really um, deal with the problem we, we, we want to solve and has, a, has had its advantage. And also, uh, we make some ambition study, we find that um, we, we use this, the meta information in, in our data site to turn the distribution shift degree and and to increase the challenge of our problem and we find that um, as the distribution shift the gap between the training and testing data becomes larger our method can have a more more significant stability yeah uh, and we think it implies that implied our method's robustness moreover we try our experiment in some large-scale data sites and uh, here an interesting, uh, an interesting insight is that uh, because in recommendation scenario we have we have thought that um, user behavior is quite sparse. So sometimes if the user or item's preference or feature is good enough, a linear prediction uh, function is sometimes have the advantage compared to nonlinear functions. Yeah, and and so uh, from our results we find that actually uh, our linear version is better than the linear motion, which means that through learn the code structure, we can actually learn a better user preference, which is called environment user preference. Uh, we, then we can use this, this better preference to help to promote mm, the, the, mm, all the tags based on this feature. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and also uh, in, our, in our work, we propose uh, a, a, a negative sampling uh, challenge, which is called uh, we prefer to choose the user dislike item uh, as a negative sample. Yeah, and we compare the different uh, strategy uh, that uh, we compare the different uh, distance metric in our strategy, and uh, uh, they consistently shows our advantage. Yeah, and uh, we, we also try some more harder cases, which is that we uh, only test in old, when all the users and items are new coming. So uh, we think this is a more realistic all these kind of in our real world, yeah. So we can find that our method have more significant benefits. Uh, this, this also can apply our robustness. Also because the coastal structure learning can naturally bring, bring some interpretability into the recommendation scenario. Here we give a showcase about what we have learned in our causal structure. We find that uh, taking some uh, part of structure between the custom and the restaurant features learned by our method in this dealing out this as an, as, an as an example, traditional method will take the uh, customers uh, uh, s s Customers uh, extend on the hotel and the travel to predict uh, what to, to, to predict the type of the restaurant they like. But however, because sometimes um, the people uh, may just enjoy travel or uh, have some business which uh, which uh, promotes their uh, custom level on the uh, hotel or 
travel. We, however, this is the, has no uh, correlation with what it should like the restaurant. Yeah, and, and we find that our method can clearly uh, discuss these two edge and only use this uh, the people's uh, the the people's stand on his dinner or on the restaurant to uh, to to choose the type of the restaurant he he, he will like. And however, um, if uh, if if the models will you use the uh, hotel or the travel the nodes, um, they will make some mistake when the distribution is changed. Yeah, uh, this is all uh, all my uh, pre present. Uh, if you have any prep uh, questions, please uh, ask me. Yeah, thanks. You thanks thanks a lot for for showing up and yeah. for for being here to answer uh, the, mm. the, the the questions and for sticking to the time. So we we have two questions from Masari yeah. Sato. I can read them on the chat for every everybody to to listen to them but you can also read them uh, so yeah. the, the first question is do you assume that users preferences are stable not change with time yeah because in our work uh we have an assumption that uh, we have known all the uh, necessary features or necessary information of users uh, and items to so feature so uh condition on the full information assumption, we can make a reasonable assumption that the user preference is always stable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think okay. that answers the most serious such as question. Um, yeah. And and sh there's another one from from Masiru. So if sometimes uh, some types of items are advertised to some types of users, causal direction may might be v item u user instead yeah. of u to v. Yeah, we, we, as I understand this problem, uh, actually, uh, why we uh, make some uh, uh, additional uh, constraint into our code structure, we only use this to help us to reduce the third space. So, uh, and, and, we, uh, and we think that we make the assumption that only uh, the path from user to item is reasonable. Um, yeah, so um, I think uh, there may be there, there might sometimes that uh, the you the, the items feature cost the user fee to cost the user features, but um, from in, in in terms of reduce the third space of code structure, uh, we think only U to V space is uh, useful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I have just here one 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 question. Yeah. Um, so you've came up with a data set, if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, dining out data set. Am I correct? You use yeah, it, yeah. Okay, um, okay. So, it, it, will it be released uh, public uh, to, to the public? Will you make it available online? Uh, do you have plans uh, for yeah, that? Yeah, uh, yeah. You have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, you, mm, yeah, we we, we 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 hope to do so. Yeah, yeah, okay. and uh, we will try later. Yeah. Okay, but are there are some privacy issues that you need to to be worried about? Uh, yeah, is that maybe, so? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so we, 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 we need to worry about it, but we will try to release it. Yeah, I think that will be yeah. a, great, a great a great contribution from, from your yeah. side. Thank yeah, thank you. Yeah. 